All right, so research process. I'll keep it full screen so you can see a bigger font. Uh, right, so first of all, the thing that you need to do, if you haven't already done that, is you need to decide what topic you're interested in, okay? This can be based on something you have observed, you've seen it, you have read about it, or you're interested in it. So first of all, decide what you want to research on. It can be something very broad. I want to do textual analysis, okay? Which genre? I'm interested in poetry, okay? Which poet? All right, so ask yourself these questions and try to narrow it down to a topic, all right? So I want to do qualitative research, all right, about what? Um, perceptions of students, okay, regarding what? And ask, asking these questions from yourself will allow you to, uh, to narrow it down, to bring it down to a specific topic, okay? So try doing that and come up with a specific topic that you can do your research on, all right? You can start reading about it if you're still confused, if you feel that you want to do something about students' perceptions regarding literature, but you don't know more, then search those key terms in Google and try to come up with some reading material that you can follow, okay? Once you've done that, you will get more ideas. Once you read about it, you will get more ideas. You'll start thinking about about it and you will know what other people have done on this topic, okay? So first of all, the first step for all of you is to decide what you are interested in. What do you want to research about? Then design your research questions. We have talked about how to formulate good research questions. They need to be clear. They need to be linked with literature and theory. They need to be linked with each other and uh, they need to be open questions, not just yes or no questions, okay? You can consult Bryman 2012 on the criteria for good research questions. Then you start writing a literature review. Now, how do you do a literature review? You read, you search, first of all. You search about your topic, you see what, what, are, uh, what articles are there, you read them, see if they're relevant. If they're relevant, you take notes, okay? You take notes with references. That's, that's important. Otherwise, in the end, you don't have your references and it's all very messed up. So once you've read enough, start writing the literature review. Keep a record of the references and add them to the reference list, okay? So from the very first step, be very organized. Try and formulate a reference list. Try to write things in order, in alphabetical order in the list so that you do not face problems later on. So you have done your literature review. Now you need to decide your methodology. Read methodolog methodological literature if you are doing empirical research that is qualitative or quantitative, or read literary theory books if you are doing non-empirical research, that is textual analysis, okay? So reading is the key. You can't get away from that in research, okay? It's not like fiction, it's not like that, all right? So it's about reading what other people have said who are experts in the field and basing your ideas on that, okay? It's very important that you start reading about your topic. You read and then you decide which method you're going to use. So I, am I going to use interviews? Am I going to use observations? How am I going to select my participants? So decide all those things and write your methodology chapter on that. I think it was Nida's question um, in, in the Google Doc that I have said something about choosing a framework. So how exactly do we choose a framework? Now, if it, is, um, if it is a textual analysis, what you do is you decide which theory you're going to use, okay? After you've decided the theory, you have to decide the theorist as well, okay? So you can't just say, I'm going to do feminism in a doll's house. 
that's a very broad uh, theory. That's a very broad movement. So you have to specify whose idea of feminism you're going to use. So you are going to specify that I'm going to use Show Walter's idea of feminism. I'm going to use Virginia Woolf's idea of feminism. I'm going to use um, Simone de Beauvoir's idea of feminism. So whichever theorist you select, you read about that. How do you select it? You read about it, okay? Read Tyson, there would be a lot of um, theorists given in it, and then you can select one. Um, you can, people have done that, but uh, it's not advised at this stage, okay? At this stage, I wouldn't advise you to select more than one theory in, in your thesis because uh, it will make it more complicated. So it's, uh, it's uh, easier and it's more straightforward at your level to, to select just one theory. It is possible to select more than one, but it, it should be easier to select just one. Okay? <laughs> Sorry. All right, so once you've selected um, the, the theorist, you should be able to select um, the elements of that theory and then you write about them. So in your methodology chapter, you write about them. Then comes the analysis part. So for the analysis, if you're doing qualitative research, you have to collect data. So do the interviews, do the observations, have your data ready and written down, and then analyze it. Once you have analyzed it, you can write your findings and discussions. Connect your findings with your literature review and your framework and add your interpretation. That's your discussion. Just presenting the text or the data, that's your finding. So the difference between finding and discussion is that in finding, we just have our data. And in discussion, we have our literature review. Okay. Finish your thesis by adding a conclusion, which is a summary. Then you add an introduction, which is a background and structure of your thesis. An abstract, which is again a summary, but a very short one, 200 to 250 words. Then you have to proofread it. That means check for any mistakes, spelling, punctuation, pronunciation, format it, arrange it properly. Headings should be bold. The text should be Times New Roman, whichever font you prefer, but Times New Roman is what I prefer. That's why I'm saying it, okay? And um, add a table of contents, um, add acknowledgements, dedication, everything, and then you can Yes, analysis of direct quotes from the text. That's what I mean. So if you include everything, this slide should tell you what to do in the research process. Even if it doesn't make sense right now, it will once you start doing it. Okay? So start reading about your topic and keep going back to these notes, these slides, and move from there, okay? <clears throat> Another way of looking at the research process was this, this chart that I showed you earlier as well. So you start with a problem or your research question, you move on to your literature review, select a theory if it's non-empirical, a hypothesis if it's quantitative, which we haven't done, then you decide which research design you're going to use, qualitative, quantitative, uh, non-critical. You collect your data, you analyze your data, and you write your conclusion, okay? So you have to ensure that you follow these steps. You have to write literature review, methodology, findings, discussion, okay? So these are the four steps main chapters that you need to write. Start with the literature review, decide your methodology, write your methodology, analyze your data, write your findings, discuss your data in the light of your literature and framework, and then that's the major job done. Okay. 
So that's the basic research process.